Hey, welcome to another episode of the Philosophy Podcast. I am your host, Controversy, and to my right, ladies and gentlemen, my co host, none other than Mr. Darren Love. And together, we are the Philosophy Podcast. Thank you to you guys for tuning in once again this week. Thank you for tuning in to a brand new episode. And like we always say, what is on the agenda for this week, mate? What is today's hot topic? That's it. What is it, mate? What's today's hot topic? I thought we'd talk about motivation today. So this week, we're talking all about motivation. That's it. You've got to be motivated. Very, very important. You know? You've got to get up and go. You've got to motivate yourself. Got to get out of bed, I think. No one's going to motivate you. You know? No one in life is going to motivate you. Only you might, well, people might, people might along the way, here and there, might give you some good advice or, you know, whatever, along, along the journey of whatever it is that you're trying to pursue or whatever it is you're trying to do. But you've got to motivate yourself. You're the one that has to get up and make it happen every day, you know? I think a lot of people want to be better than you, so they're not going to tell you, you know, how to be better. Well, I guess there are, unfortunately, I guess there are some people out there with that kind of mindset, unfortunately, that think like that, you know? Like, you know, they, they like you said, they don't want to see, they're happy to see you doing well, but not better than them, if that makes sense. Mm. They don't want you doing well, but they don't want you doing better than them. If you see what I mean, they start to become envious and jealous and yeah, sometimes uh, like when hateful, you know. When you become successful, sometimes in life, yeah, like maybe even famous, a lot of people get jealous of them, don't they? Mm. You know, and want to knock them off the ladder, basically. If you see what I mean, yeah, you get a lot of that, don't you? Yeah, in life, you know. But I think you know, really, I think like that's the purpose really of life to be motivated every day. Every day, you know. I think like even if it rains, yeah. I how, how I look at it right, mate, is that if life in itself is not motivation enough to get up and get going, then in a way, kind of, what are you living for? If you see what I mean. It's pointless, isn't it? It's, right? po- it's pointless. Like, if life in itself is not motivating you, when you wake up in the morning and you're not, you're not grateful to, have, to, to be awake again and to, have, to live again, you know, to live another 24, then... To me, that's all the motiva- most motivation that you should need. And unfortunately, not everyone's like that, of course. You know, I might have that mentality, or my mate probably got that same very, same, very same mentality as well. But not a lot of people have that, have that, that thing of just that appreciation for life, that, that in itself like, will motivate you to get up and get going. Like, for me, that's number one. And then, obviously, it's my wife, my kids, you know, my hustle, you know, my, you know, my, you know, my work, you know, my, you know, my music, my, my, you know etc you know loads of things podcasts like loads of things you know um yeah it's like my okay let me i just want to give people like a breakdown for my weekly schedule let's, let's say for example right i work 50 hours a week but i get i do 12 12 hour days i'm usually up at, i'm usually up at half past six in the morning and i'm i usually get home about half past eight at night so that in total that's close to 14 hours altogether by the time I've woken up, got ready for work, got to work, been working all day and then finally got home, it's like 14 hours. I'll still get home, make sure everyone's good, you know, get home from work, make sure everyone's good, whatever. And then I'll probably even spend a few hours, I might even spend a few hours doing some work before I go to bed. You know what I mean? Work doing something else and something that I want to do, you know, something that's working towards one of my goals, whether it be writing a song or whatever the case may be, whatever whatever it is I, I'm cho- choosing to try and do creatively or whatever the case may be. But what I'm trying to explain to people is that it doesn't you can find the time to do shit. A lot of the time people we get a lot of time people become lazy in a sense of like once they finish their working day, they don't want to do anything else, if you see what I mean. They just want to relax. But if you're really that ambitious and you're really that motivated and you've got shit that you want to achieve in life and you've got goals, you've got to be spending almost the same amount of time on your goals and your ambitions as the same amount of time that you spend at work, really. So some, like the average person works, okay, like a lot of people work long days like I do, but a lot of people also work eight, nine hour days, a lot less hours. So they might be at work from nine and get home at five. 
So you've got even more time than I've got, if you see what I mean, to get the graft in, to spend more time doing what you need to do, if you see what I mean, working towards your, your, you know, your objective, if you see what I mean, you know. Um, but it just depends on how badly you want it, you know. Some people might get home from work and say, oh, I'm really tired, you know what I mean. It's like, who's not tired? You know what I mean? Anyone that's a grown person in this day and age that's young and working a lot of hours like a lot of us do and got our family and got kids and got other things that they do outside of work as well. You know what I mean? There's a lot of shit that you have to sacrifice in order to be successful, you know. And I think sometimes, like, people don't want to hear it, but it's just a reality. Like, you have to sacrifice sleep. Like, you know, many, you know many, for how many years I've been sleeping five, six hours a night? If you see what I mean? Just because, just grafting, looking after my family, making sure bills are paid, you know, rent, whatever else, you know, just like, you know, and then doing, and then obviously coming home at night and then spending time on my own craft, if you see what I mean, not, not get home from work and being like, oh, I'm so knackered and so yeah, tired. How many hours a week do you get this help? Not many, yeah. not many. I don't actually get, because obviously when I'm, when I'm off from work, I'm with my kids, if you see what I mean, pr predominantly right throughout the day, if you see what I mean. Um, and not only that, but obviously you've got things at home that you need to do too. You've got to catch up at home too, if you see what I mean. You might need to clean your house, you might need to, whatever, you know what I mean? You might need to wash, do some, you know, you might need to do some cleaning and some washing and etc, 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 if you see what I mean, like, you know. Well, I feel lucky that, you know, I've, I've done all that kind of stuff, you know, like I have, like I said, I've said quite a few times in the past, you know, in previous episodes, that, you know, I've been married, Yeah. got three children, they're all grown up now, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I live on my own, do you know what I mean? And it's fantastic, you know, I could be motivated on my own mm. without anyone getting in my way, mm. if you see what I mean. You know, I feel like me get actually me getting married actually kind of like stopped me from going further, if you're with me. You know, I had to give up a lot, Yeah. you know, to get married. You know, I mean, when you fall in love, you... you you do give up a lot, don't you? You don't realise it, but you do. Yeah. You know, and um, now I haven't got that love. You know, it's all over. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I can be free to enjoy life on my own in a kind of way. You know, and it, it's difficult, I think, to be motivated when you've got a lot of people with yeah. you sometimes. You know, because you don't get so much time for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I get loads of time for myself now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I think it's no good if you're, I mean, you, you can, you can be, um, get a lot done by doing nothing actually, believe it or not, mm. in, in this day and age, like you can maybe come up with a good idea, Yeah. or just lay there, yeah. 12 hours, yeah, and then 12 hours later you come up with a good, good idea, you know, so you don't waste your time. I was going to say, you're not doing nothing then, you're not doing nothing. Sometimes you can only sort of dream when you're laying down. You're, brain, you? you're brainstorming. You yeah. can only really relax. You know, you can only dream, sorry, when you relax, can you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And what, you know, when you're laying down, you might be dreaming about what you watched on TV. Yeah. You might be dreaming about whatever. Yeah. But if you focus your dreams, you can sort of like dream about the future, you know, dream about your life a little bit, you know. Don't waste your dreams either, you know. Yeah. Start motivating yourself with your dreams, you know. Yeah. And um, some people make up some great, great films and movies and things, or write some good books, or yeah. write some good songs. Yeah. And they don't do it working, I don't think. You know, be, being busy. Maybe they do. Maybe you can write a song when you're working hard. You know, show oh, yeah. them. Yeah. I don't know. You know. But, but it's funny, mate. Like I'm the type of person, right, mate? Inspiration comes to me, like throughout the day, almost every day. I'll get up always like it might it won't always be a full song, but it like it'd be like the first like six or seven lines of a song, if you see what I mean, that would just come into my head. Like I'll just like all of a sudden like I have like this like this rhyme pattern in my head, if you see what I mean, and like I'll be putting words to it in my head, like and then like as soon as I get a little bit of time, like I get like a break or something, like during the day, like, let's say I'm working, I get a break or whatever, I'll jot it down quickly on my phone, if you see what I mean, just to remember it, remember it for the future. Because that those you know, six or seven lines that I've it just come to me randomly throughout the day will eventually turn into a whole song. Mm. If you see what I mean, the next time I'm off and I you know get some time to write, I'll be that coming you know turn into a whole song. So it's yeah, it's funny. But it, you know, when you're working, it's not like you can 
um, get a paintbrush and start painting things, you know, or yeah. start laying down and dreaming and daydreaming about some ideas and things. You can't relax and be free, can yeah. you? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I don't think. But I think it's a good idea just to be motivated. I mean, even if you're in a bad job, you've got to be motivated to get out of that bad job, haven't you? Yeah. You know. So I think motivation is very important. You know, just like you say, when you wake up. This is what I do. I love getting up. You know, yeah. I love it. When I wake up, yeah. I think, good, I'm still alive. Mm. You know? Yeah. I think, <coughs> me. I can see. You know, I've got my eyes. I mean, some people might wake up, right? And their eyes might not work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then you get out of bed, oh, I can walk. My brother broke his leg four months ago, you know, and he's finding it really difficult to walk anywhere now, you know, he's got pins in his legs, you know. Well, some people can't walk at all because they've got no legs, you know, so yeah. I think how lucky we really are. Yeah, you it's know? true. Yeah. And people give up, I think, as well. That's another thing, you know, they give up. They try. Yeah. And they think, oh, I'm never going to do this, you know, and they give up. And that's that's a common thing, actually. It's true. In life. It's true. And one, I was just going to say, one saying that really resonates with me ever since I was young, right? And it's you can't you can't fail until you quit. And to me, it makes so much sense. Like you can't fail until you quit. That makes and, sense to me. No. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Fail. I was gonna say because that that's essentially the, that's essentially what it is. You know, um, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like everyone's journey is different. Like you know. Um, like they say, life is a journey and not a destination. And I think it's the same thing with your goals, you know, with your, you know, the, you, you know your, cho your, your chosen desired path that you choose to go down in life, with things that you choose to work towards as, as an individual, like, you know, that's, you know, that's, it's an individual thing, if you see what I mean. You, you have to experience that for yourself. It's, a, it's you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a journey. You know? I think one thing about being motivated, you got to find out what you like. You know? And that helps as well, What finding out what you're passionate about. Yeah. 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 That's the most important thing, actually, isn't it? Like, finding what you're interested in. And the thing is, the thing is, enjoy. and the thing is, is that if, if what, what you're most passionate about in life, if that doesn't drive you, then nothing else will. Nothing else will, mate. To be honest. Because if something it makes if there's something in life that makes you the happiest that whenever you're doing it, it makes you the most happiest person in the world and gives you the ha most happiest feeling that you you ever you know you, you you can recall and that doesn't drive you and that doesn't motivate you to be better or to achieve some shit or try to be great in some way or something then you know I don't know what will to be honest you know you know every it's self motivation you know you've got to. You've got to be strong in your mind. You've got to have a strong mindset. You've got to have a, you know, uh, just a, a, you know, a, I'm never giving up attitude. You know, I'm just going to keep going, keep going no matter what happens. Keep putting in the work. Eventually, like they say, you can only reap from what you sow. You know, you have to sow in order to reap the harvest, you know. Um, so that's just how it goes, you know. So, yeah. Just being dedicated and, and yeah, being positive, I think. And positive too, that's a big, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people get deterred because they allow, a lot of us, we get in our we get in our own minds too much, if you see what I mean. Sometimes we get in our own way, if you see what I mean. We, we get in our minds too much. We might not necessarily be getting the results that we want to see right now from whatever it is that we're doing. And for some people that can deter a lot of people to put them off from whatever the case may be. But see, for the, the, the small percentage of people that stick it out, and keep going, keep plodding on, keep plowing away, they eventually see some kind of reward. Because to me, I, I, I really be, I'm a big believer in that the universe kind of corresponds to the frequency that you put out there. So you, you could only get back what you put in, or what you put out, if you see what I mean. You can only get that back in return. It's the same thing with energy, if you see what I mean. It's like with energy, so you put out good energy, you generally get you know good, positive energy, out there into the world, into the atmosphere, into around people, then you genuinely get that back in return, you know. And it's the same thing with your with your goals, you know. You you kind of get back, you kind of get back what you put in, you know. Um, so yeah, 
you know. It just depends on how much you want it, you know, how how determined are you, you know, how driven are you, how, you know, how motivated are you to to get to get to get that point where you feel like you've actually achieved some kind of milestone um, in your journey, you know? So yeah. Yeah, you've got to have motivation. You've got to be hungry, you know? Not hungry in like a sense of like physical sense of eating, but hungry in like, you know, you've got to be hungry for what you, for what you want, you know? And not all days, it's not going to be the same every day as well. Like, you're not always going to be as, like, especially if you're, you're like, you're a creative person, you're an artist, you might, the, the creativity would not always be the same every single day, if you see what I mean, like, but you still got to sharpen your sword, if you see what I mean. It's like, it's like, okay, you know how many artists out there that go to the studio every single day, especially like, a lot of these are big artists that can afford to go to the studio, like, almost every day, because either they can afford to pay for it or their label pays for it, and they can, you know, that's, you know, they pay for it because that's their job, essentially. Um, you know how much, you know, they make, make, they make, my, they might make 200 songs a year, but only release maybe 30, if you see what I mean, in a whole year, out of those 200. But, it, at the end of the day, it was still them sharpening their, their, their working on their craft. They were getting better through making all those songs that they might not have even released. That just made them better at their craft, if you see what I mean. They were able to hone their skills through being, you know, through the process of being creative, you know. And the same applies for any work field, any work space or field, any chosen, you know, occupation, you know. So... You know, life is all about really sort of enjoying yourself as well, you know, so... Yeah. You've got to enjoy what you're doing mm. in life, you know, that's what's most important, you Yeah, know? yeah. And I, I know there's a lot of people that don't like what they're doing what they're doing in life, you know, but it's in their job, for instance, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's so many people out there. Yeah really in jobs that they don't want to be in. Well to me right mate that's kind of one thing about discipline that I always say to people too. That's why discipline is so important too. Because like there's another old saying, you know, like kind of like my old sayings and shit, but there's an old saying that says discipline is doing what you hate but doing doing it like you love it. Yeah, discipline is doing what you hate but doing it you like you love it. Like you enjoy it, mm -hmm. and that is so so true. Like with anything in life, like sometimes there's a lot of shit in life that we as human beings we might not necessarily want to get up and do every day, but we know the reality is that we have to get on and do it. You know, if we don't get on and do it, who is gonna do it? You know, if the nurses don't go to work in the hospital and the doctors and surgeons and shit, who's gonna look after the people that are coming into the hospital sick and all that kind of stuff? If you see what I mean, if these people decide tomorrow that I don't feel like going to work today, let's say 10,000 people somewhere in London say tomorrow we don't want to go to work. We're having a sick day, national sick day. You know how many industries would be impacted? Would be impacted? If you see what I mean? Like, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, so like, it's the same. It's the, it's the same day. with everything. Like, all the different industries. Like, imagine people woke up tomorrow and just say, I don't feel like doing it. Like, the world would never t like the world just wouldn't work if you see what I mean like you know I like that a national sick day national sick day good idea national sick day global national global national sick day mm. maybe we should we should implement that mate maybe we yeah. should start that up mate and, and start start a little charity and yeah. shit we should do that start a charity mm. yeah why not that's motivation you see if you want to do that yeah start a charity shop you can do it yeah you can. You, to. you just got to make sure you go through the right legal proceedings. I personally don't want to do it, you know, but... Yeah. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that start up charities and shit for their own pockets, line their own pockets. If you see what I mean. I think, you know, personally, I think most charities are dodgy. Well, a lot of them only give a small percentage of the profits exactly, to, towards... You know, towards I mean, they're making the, a living out of it. Yeah. You know, something, you know. Well, why should a... If you're really running a charity, of course the person that runs and owns the charity, if that's his main job, yeah. of course he still needs to have a salary. Yeah. He still needs to live and survive mm. in the world that we live in. But you don't need to be driving around in the Rolls Royce, no. you know, Maserati, no. 
No. Ferrari. You know what I mean? Which a lot of these C CEO executives of these large charities and shit do. Mm -hmm. It's like for how many years? I know I've spoken about it before, so I won't go into too much. But think about how many years. Yeah. BBC Children in Need is big going on. Yeah. Is it still going on? Because I don't. Want it's still going on. Is it? You know how many? You know how many millions people have been given every year. Mm -hmm. Millions yeah, and millions and millions lots. and millions. What the fuck is happening to all this money? Mm. You're trying to tell me it's that. A, you're trying to tell me. You're like trying that. to tell me for the last 25, 30 years, people have been giving all these millions of pounds to these charities that are supposed to be out there doing work and shit. Yeah. And and nothing's changed. Yeah. Everything's still in the same way that it's been. It, it was twenty five years ago. Where's the money gone? That's what I'm saying. So it's, it's, um, yeah. I mean, we pay our taxes. The children should be looked after. Correct. You know, full stop. You shouldn't full be out have to pay our extra stuff. If you see what I mean, that's what no. I think anyway. Yeah. You know, we shouldn't have children in need anyway in the first place. You know, no. it, shouldn't, it shouldn't happen. Never. Not not when wealth like this. Okay. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong for anyone that's worked hard and got to that point in their life where they've managed to accumulate that amount of wealth, congrats to them. But when someone's got a hundred and something billion or something like this or whatever, it's ridiculous amount of money or fortune, whatever, you, you know, however you want to create it. And there's people out there that are literally starving and they can't, don't have running water in some places and they don't have food and dying of malnutrition and, and famine and all this type of shit. Like, it, it, to me, it's just, it's, it should never happen. You know what I mean? Um, it's just like for me, if I had that kind of money, like I, I would impact the world, and I really mean that. And I don't even mean that like in a in a prideful way or egotistical way. I'm just saying, if I had that kind of money, like hundreds of billions of like pounds, let's say for example, you know, much like humanitarian work. I, I but I'd be on the front lines. If you see what I mean? Like I'd be. I wouldn't even do anything else. I, obviously, I, obviously, it's been, you know, looking after my wife and kids as well. That's the main goal as well, of course. But, I mean, like, I would, probably wouldn't do anything else. Like, I would literally go from place to place with a team of people, mm. experts that can do different jobs and shit and, you know, you know can employ the right people to do what they need.